Alright guys, so we have a little bit of a different video today. As you can see, I'm way more excited than usual because today we're actually not going to be talking about any specific shoe. We are going to be talking about how I met Alex Eubank, the fitness influencer with over 2 million Instagram followers and over a million subscribers on YouTube. This is something I literally never imagined would happen. And um, actually I did kind of assume that one day I would probably stand in front of Alex Eubank, but I would never realize that it would be so soon that um, three or four days into my break from college, I would be standing in front of the one and only and it's a crazy story, so I'm going to get into it. But um, first, a little bit of backstory for those of you guys who don't know what Alex, who Alex Eubank is. He's basically one of the biggest natural um, bodybuilders on Instagram. And he creates content Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So he's very consistent with the algorithm. People absolutely love him. He's got long hair like me. Uh, his is even longer and it's blonde. He dyed it blonde and he's absolutely jacked. I'm going to put a picture of him on screen. But I'm sure if you guys clicked on the video, you probably know what it is, who he is rather. But if you guys are an old head or you're like just under a rock, that's who Alex Eubank is. Him, Jesse James West, those two are like the only fitness influencers that are actually respectably big in terms of their physiques and their followings that are confirmed to be natural or at least they claim to be. Of course natural does include things like pre-workout and some supplements but still no roids and no like actual PEDs or enhancers or anything like that. So it is very admirable to be able to build a physique like this um, in such a such a natural way, I guess. And as soon as I started watching Alex Ebeck, I right away clicked with him just because I noticed like how humble he was even though he had everything that he wanted. And I know so many people that are not humble at all and they barely have anything to show for themselves. So this was definitely a breast breath of fresh air for me and I'm pretty sure everyone watching him but above and beyond that he has very good taste he has some sick workout advice like his content is very easily digestible and you don't have to like think too hard you can literally just be in the middle of a set and look up Alex Eubank tricep and it will be like a short of him talking through what the best exercises are for your triceps and obviously he's a reputable source because he got really really big off doing like mainly machine lifting at the gym and if you look at the progression of his physique he was always kind of on the stockier side so he started with a great base and some great genetics but he was able to improve it an absolute bucket ton so when I saw that he was coming to New York um, on May 13th, obviously I had to go. Uh, he actually wasn't too, too close to where I am. He, the meetup took place in a place called Locust Valley, New York, which I've never even heard of, but it is over on Long Island, which is an area that I somewhat know, but really I haven't been to in years probably. Um, but I knew I had to head over there. I left the house around 12 o'clock and I got there around 1.30. There was a lot of traffic, but all was obviously worth it in the end. So when I got in line, I noticed right away there was an absolute ton of people there. I would say there was over like probably three to 400 people maybe. And it was absolutely packed. The gym that we were at was called Firm Athletics and it wasn't even the biggest gym in the world. The gym that I go to in my area is bigger than that gym. So if that's saying anything, you can tell that the gym is pretty small. So 
there was a ton of people and I was definitely worried that I wasn't going to make it in on time because I assumed that since the event was due to end at 4 p.m. they would actually go by that not because of Eubank himself but mainly because of the security guards and all the personnel that they were paying to be there having to really wait it out and just sit there for a while um, and yeah so I was scared that I wasn't going to get in but obviously I did get in I'm going to put a video on the screen of me scrolling through my camera roll and the lady who was taking the pictures took like a hundred pictures of me and Alex, Hattie, and um, his cameraman Joey as well. So everyone got into the pictures, his whole crew pretty much got in and I thought it was super cool of them to just wait there for so long. I mean, my legs were absolutely gassed by the end of it. I was so tired, you guys have no idea, um, and I was like, I was also pretty nervous as well, like, I could barely even stand still, contain my excitement as well as my nervousness and everything, but once I finally got to him, um, it went well. But before I go over to the actual interaction, I gotta say that his fan base and the people that are a part of Elysium are absolutely awesome, like, I spoke to a bunch of people outside, I got a lot of Instagrams, a lot of phone numbers um, and a lot of exchanging of contact information and everyone that supports him from what I have seen is very like um, willing to make friends and very open which is a super interesting thing to have in a certain community and something that is just awesome overall. Um, so that was awesome that was keeping me busy i met a few guys one of them was na named brennan one was named matthew if you guys are watching this shout out to you guys you were pretty awesome and especially matthew helped me get to the front of the line um more quickly and yeah it was definitely very uncomfortable in line like it was almost as if you were trying to get into a club or a uh frat house or something except Literally the only thing inside was Alex and his crew just standing behind a desk, which was really interesting that there was so many people. But I guess with a following of 2.3 million on Instagram, you're really going to have a lot of people. Um, I really can't think of any other creator that would do this, like, ever. Like, even Logan Paul, the one that people love, uh, lately, he's been under major criticism, but back in the day, people loved him. And um, my sister, who was like a diehard Logan Paul fan, never got to meet him. And I got to meet Eubank pretty shortly after getting to know him. I've probably been watching him for probably a year, but more consistently the last six months. So I thought it was absolutely amazing getting to meet him. And once I got to him, I talked to him a lot about like my content and what I'm doing on Instagram and YouTube. I mentioned my motivational speaking on Instagram, which I really don't do anymore, but I should definitely get into this summer. I have plenty of time this summer. I literally have until September 5th, which is like four months away, which is a crazy chunk of time. So I'm definitely not worried about that. And um, I told him about the YouTube, I told him I'm just over 350 subscribers. We're at 352 now. Thank you guys so much for the support. It means the world. And um, I talked to him about shoes as well, of course. He was wearing the Off-White UNC's, the classic. Um, I was wearing my Zebras. I told him about my shoe collection. If you guys want to see a picture of his shoe collection, I'm going to put it on screen right now. He has some bangers. He's got the Travis Scott ones. He's got the UNC Off-White, the Off-White Dunks, the Ray Gun Dunks, and the Boogas and the Zebras. Those are like the main ones that I can think of. But yeah, he's definitely got some heat for his feet. Then we talked a little bit about cars. He mentioned that his favorite car was the Shelby GT500. Um, which is a Mustang, like a very high horsepower Mustang with a lot of speed on it. 
Um, I mentioned to him that I have an BMW M235i. And yeah, overall we just like nerded out about cars and shoes and fitness. Um, we didn't talk that much about fitness, which is kind of ironic, but um, I just really had a bunch to say. And then the coolest part was that he signed my Elysium shirt. He mentioned that that was the one that sold out the quickest. And also, he wrote down my Instagram in his notepad to like, keep me in mind if he ever needs another Elysium athlete, which was, I thought that was absolutely amazing. Who knows if anything will ever come to it. If I will ever see the guy again or if I'll ever talk to him again, hopefully I will. I'm praying that I do. But, of course, he's a huge influencer. Usually those big guys really only just get bigger. So, he's going to the moon, man. We'll see what happens with the brand. Hopefully we blow up to his level one day. I'm sure that we will. And, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my little recount of how I met Alex Eubank. And I definitely need to start making more videos showcasing like my personality and my more personal side again because I feel like we've really just been talking about shoes, like the facts about shoes and my opinions about them. We're definitely going to still do that, but we got to incorporate some more fun content as well. So hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you all later. Peace.